I feel like a couple years back, I kind of saw the light. I stopped spending my money on stuff that I now consider to be stupid and saving my money to invest. I feel like generally most people don't think like that. It's more about keeping up with the Joneses type of situation for a lot of people, you know, buying a new truck every two years, or financing a new truck every two years, you know, a boat, guns, cars, that kind of stuff. Uh, so I'm approaching people. I feel like I have this smoking opportunity and people just, uh, they're just not interested. So that was kind of an eye opener. I'm thinking, oh, this, this deal is great. People are going to be all over it. But um, that wasn't actually the case. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I had, I'd been talking about this. I'd been kind of educating my network for a while and, you know, doing meetups and trying to spread the multifamily gospel. I had people who were interested, but it definitely wasn't as many people as I thought it was would be. So that was a huge eye opener. Yeah, I think everyone has to go through that. I experienced the same thing. And I will say, I mean, the, the couple of things that you mentioned, like financial education and literacy is absolutely, in my opinion, I don't want to say a problem because like everyone gets to spend their money however they want, right? But it makes me a little concerned for the people I care about headed towards retirement or even 30 years from now, even if they're young. I'm like, you got to think through the future. I understand the, the desire to spend money when you make it. And I understand the keeping up with the Joneses thing. I mean, of course, I want a new truck, but I'm just saying, I think, you know, what you said is super true. And so that's kind of the goal here is like, you know, I try and do the podcast one to educate people on real estate. But it's also like financial education too. Like you start doing some math about, even if you put in savings, it's just, it's just not enough. It's not a good way to, to let your money make money for you. So I, I really think that by listening to podcasts like yours, you know, by, by going to meetups, hopefully we're going to do some education to our circle. And then coming back to the capital raise, absolutely. I mean, I think there's two things you hear a lot. One is even if people make a lot of money, you'd be surprised how little they have to invest. And then, Bingo. uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's like incredible. People make three, $400,000. I'm like, do you have any money to invest? Nah, I, I sure don't. <laughs> I spent it all, which that sounds really fun. So I think it comes back to the education piece thing. And then the other thing you hear is people will kind of say, yeah, I'm pretty interested. And then when push comes to shove, you know, it's, it's really hard to, to wire that money, you know? And so even if it's a great deal, even if it's all those things you said, so it's, it's kind of interesting that you're, uh, you felt the same things that a lot of people, I think 